Good morning, ladies and gents. Chris here from DE Razor Shade with a new shade video. How y'all doing today? Hopefully you're doing pretty good because I'm doing pretty good too. So today is Saturday, the 23rd. So this is going to be my Christmas, Christmas shave. So what are we doing in this one? Well, we're going to be using the Carved Bison Razor again. The green Carved Bison Razor. And I've got it loaded up in there already with a Gillette 7 o'clock green. So we're going to be doing green today again, kind of. Kinda. Brush we're going with. Can Surf DS Cosmetic Winter Edition 2019 brush. I think it's fitting with the label. 26 millimeter synthetic white knot. Pure white. Not cashmere. It's white. It's pure white. Alright. Soap we're going to be going with. One of my favorite Christmas soaps. And it smells so good. I love this one. So this is Sterling Soap Company Christmas Eve. Um, tallow, lanolin, and shea butter. So, yes, this is a tallow, tallow-based soap. Uh, scent profile is a base blend of pine, fir, evergreen, and mistletoe, and top notes of warm vanilla, cranberry, and seasonal spices. This scent is sure to put you in the Christmas spirit. It does not smell like pine salt. I know some pine-scented stuff smells like pine salt. This one does not. This is a 5.8 ounce, so this is a big one. And it smells really good. Got it blooming right here in the sink. No blooming onion. <laughs> Not gonna be wearing this. It'd be hard to do in shape with that. So yeah. All right. So got it blooming right here. Pour that out. Bam. Oh, I love this one. This smells so so good. Yes, that is what we're going to be using today. Brush. Need a brush. The bristles. A bristle. All right. So, let's get the water out. Six, we'll do six, see how that goes. Oh, righty then, what the heck was I gonna say? Oh, pre-shave we're gonna be going with. Wet face. That's what I was gonna say, three days worth of growth. That is what we're going with, three days growth. Three days growth, not three days grace. Phoenix Arts and Coochman's Christmas Cube. So that is what we're going with again. Oh, it smells good. Seasonal though, so this is only available seasonally. It's, that's against the green right there, like that. All right, got that. <laughs> Rinse it off the hands. And boom, here we go. Probably gonna need a lot more water. Oh well. Yeah, face lathering today. A little bit of water on the tips. Oh, get the water in there. How y'all doing? It's two days before Christmas. And they screwed with my schedule. <laughs> so, I work Thursday. Supposed to be off Friday. Saturday. Work Sunday. Off Monday, Christmas. And then work the rest of the week. Which is three days. More water. But, guy I work with named Ralph. He's like, to change your schedule, you're supposed to come in today on Saturday. I'm like, why didn't... I was mad. I was like, why didn't they tell me then? So... Long story short, yes, I was supposed to work today, but they didn't tell me that. So whose fault is that? Is that my fault or is that management's fault for not communicating with me? Like a lot of companies with management not communicating. So I called in sick. So Ralph's like, you better put some PTO time in. Like you protect the PTO so you don't get in trouble. Like it's not my fault. She should have told me I was scheduled today. And I'm like, besides that, I'm not going to work a day off a day, work a day off a day. So yeah, I was supposed to work today. <laughs> Middle finger. All right. Yeah. Oh well. Oh, I hate split days too. But we're getting a shaving. Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> Alright. Eat up my hair. Eat up the razor. Ooh, pass number one. Here we go. Three days worth of growth. Gillette, seven o'clock. Verde. Not bad. But like I said, this is a tallow-based scent or tallow-based base. Tallow-based soap. It's not vegan. I don't mind. And I love the scent of this one. This one smells so good. 
So yeah, two days before Christmas. You guys got stuff planned? Are y'all with kids and stuff? Like I said, I was supposed to work today. <laughs> and Ralph gave me the heads up. Hey, we're scheduled. What? He's like, don't worry. Well, I'll talk to you when you come to work. I'm like, I'll talk to whoever screwed up my schedule. Because we have one lady doing our schedules. And she said she's not doing the schedules anymore. And we have a new manager with us. And she's supposed to be the one doing the schedule. So she is pissed off because she they scheduled scheduled me and didn't even tell the manager that's supposed to be doing my schedule it's a big mess if you've worked at walmart you ought to know what i'm saying so it just cleans right out of those big lathers lather channel it's awesome The Gillette 7 o'clock is a little tuggy. This is a first use DE blade too. This isn't like, I've used this a couple times. It is a little bit tuggy. Which is why I wanted, when I did my first impression or first try with this razor, I wanted to use a nice sharper blade to give it a good chance. And not be like, oh, it's the razor. No, it's the blade. Yes, yeah, this does seem a little bit tuggy. I need more water. See on the neck how it looks. Yeah, get the more water in there. Nice slick sterling soap too. Sterling makes some awesome soaps. I like sterling. Sterling's good. I do only have a few. Got the Nob Chomp, Nob Chompa, a bunch of like samples that I've never used on camera before. Like a lot of samples, yeah. <laughs> Sterling makes a good soap though, and Splash. Yes, this DE blade is a little bit tuggy in this razor. It's shaving, but yeah, it is a bit tuggy. Better make a couple multiple passes. But not bad though. So this razor is good with a nice sharp blade. I don't know about feather. <laughs> I don't like feathers. They're just too harsh for me, especially that first shave. Could go with like a nice Kai blade or something sharp, similar. All right. It's the most wonderful time. It's crazy. T how okay, Halloween. They played a whole bunch of different like horror movies for Halloween. Oh shit! Christmas. Yeah, I can't go against the grain right there. Christmas. They didn't play very many. Christmas movie. All I really saw was like Home Alone and like Home Alone 2. Yeah, all right, yeah. Couple nicks right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are we good? Yeah. I'm only gonna, I'm only gonna need one pass today. All right. Mm. 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 That was kind of painful. Yeah, I do not. <laughs> Sorry, Gillette 7 o'clock green. I don't like you in this razor. <laughs> Feedback is crazy. It's real, real tuggy, though. I usually like these Gillette 7 o'clock greens. But not in this razor. Easy to get on the nose. Mm. 
Not a bad shave. I okay. I'm gonna word this. Not a bad shave, but it is that it, it is tuggy in that razor. For uh, two uses with this razor, I would go for more of a sharper DE blade on a higher end, like the Rapira, the one I used before. Uh, Rapira Swedish Super Steel. That would be good. Just something maybe sh sharper. So we're gonna be using this razor again, but with like sharper DE blades. The Gillette Seven O'clock Green was. Not bad, but I, like, especially my mustache area, I can really feel it. It's, like, tuggy, like, not, not, it's painful. <laughs> one there, one there, one there. Yeah, all right, clean up, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Very close, very smooth, but it was, it was rough. So, yes, the Gillette 7 o'clock green, I did not like in that razor. It was a little rough for me. Yeah, here, one there, two there, two there. Yeah, it's... Uh, yeah. <laughs> Not a good combination for me. Your mileage may vary. P.A. Allen Block. Ooh. Yeah, that blade was real tuggy in that razor. And Gillette 7 o'clock greens usually work good for me. But they are a milder DE blade, though. They're not sharp. So they're not real sharp. Oh, that's going to burn, isn't it? No, not really. Look there it does. Huh. All right. I'm going to dry the alum on the towel. Let that dry my face. Ooh. All right. So we're going to be using the matching aftershave. Sterling Soap Company Christmas Eve Aftershave Splash 100 milliliter. Milliliter. <laughs> I know my last video I said millimeter. I'm like, what? No. Milliliter. Oh, I love this scent. It smells so damn good. Christmas. Mmm. Oh, it smells so good. It's a nice pine forward scent, but it does not smell like pine salt to me. It smells so good and festive and Christmassy and I love this one. I love that one. It smells so damn good. Washing my hands, a recap of what we used today. It is recording. <laughs> I was watching one of Matthew Lawrence's videos uh, the other day. And he said he forgot to push record, and he looked right up there, and it wasn't recording. He's like, damn it. <laughs> and then he had to redo it. So I always look up there, too. I'm like, is it recording? Yeah, it's got the red. Two minutes and 19 seconds. Yeah, all right. Recap of what we used today. We used from the Sterling Soap Company Christmas Eve Aftershave Splash. Oh, I love this one. It smells so damn good. PAA Allen Block. We used... Ken Surf's DS Cosmetic Winter Edition 2019 brush with the 26 millimeter synthetic white knot. Yeah, see how white that is? That's not cashmere. This would be cashmere. Here's a cashmere knot. Here's this knot. Look at the difference. Yeah. Nice and bright. That's the brush we use. It fit the label for the soap today. Razor we went with Carve Shaving Company. Carve Shaving Company. Bison DE Razor. This is the green one. There is tangerine, black, and red as well. And we used a first use Gillette 7 o'clock green. Not a very good shave for me. I mean, it cut it down. It's all, you know, smooth. Like, I look, I'm still bleeding. So that's my problem area too. But yeah. Yeah, that DE blade did not work well for me in that razor. For me. So, yeah. Soap we went with today. I cleaned it all out. We went with Sterling Soap Company Christmas Eve Small Batch Artesian Shave Soap, Tallow, Lanolin, and Shea Butter. So if you don't like tallow, then this is not for you. Here's all the ingredients if you want to screenshot that and read it. I'm not going to read all that to you. Awesome scent. I love this one. It's one of my favorite Christmas scents. And I was looking for like a pine kite Christmassy scent. I found this one and I was like, oh banger this one's awesome so yeah that is the shave of the day ladies and gents i'm gonna have to use some styptic on there oh it's bad <laughs> so that's it so today is 23rd 12 23 
it's gonna be my Christmas shave because I'm not gonna see you guys till after Christmas, maybe the new year. So happy Merry Christmas, happy holidays, be safe, happy new year, and that is it. I'm gonna be rolling into 2024 pretty soon. Time just flies, doesn't it? All right. So hope you ladies and gents have a good day, good week, good shave, more to come, and stay safe and see you ladies and gents soon.